for pattern challenge, our first step is going to be to take off the plastic off our canvas. And then I would like for you to draw something in the center, in the very center of your canvas. It could be maybe like an out, and um, I should emphasize it. We want this to be an outline, so almost like a silhouette. It can be your favorite animal, maybe an initial for your name, um, anything that you can think of. But remember, we want to do the outline, just the silhouette. We want to, we don't want to do any details. Um, I think I'm going to, going to do a flamingo because that's one of my favorite animals. So I will show you what it'll look like after. Okay, so before we begin, you should have some paint markers in your kit. So the first thing we need to do is with the tip up, so tip up, facing up, we need to shake the marker up and down for about 20 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, and then it says to remove the cap and gently press the nib up and down against a separate piece of paper. So let's try it. One, two. They said this might take about 30 seconds. And there you go. This is how you activate your paint markers. You want to do it more. And it, keep a scratch piece of paper on the side so you can keep doing this if need be during the project. Oh, and my paint markers activated. This is Pattern Challenge Part 2. So what I need you all to do is to fill the entire canvas, except for what you've drawn, with different patterns. Um, it can be like circles, lines, whatever, almost like a doodle page. Um, I'll kind of show you what you what I mean um, by demonstrating here. So I'm going to start in a corner. Let's say I want to do, ooh, that's a really nice paint marker. Let's say I want to do some, Or if you want to do the same pattern across all your canvas, that is okay too. You're still making a pattern and you're still covering the whole canvas. So I am a-okay with that. So I'm kind of doing these little triangles right here. Maybe now I want to do like a little, uh, and close them. Kind of want to maybe go over that if you want. And if I notice, oh, I'm running out of paint. I'm just moving the tip up and down on my scratch piece of paper. And now it flows so much more nicely. So yeah, you're going to make patterns like this, whatever you want, across your entire canvas. I'll show you my final result. So this is the final product of my pattern challenge. As you can see, I used a lot of different patterns such as lines, triangles, swirls, polka dots, even some floral patterns, triangles over here again, wavy different kinds of lines, and that's kind of what I'm hoping you all do. Um, when you're all finished, if you don't like having the outline, let your painting set for 24 hours and then go back in and you can erase it. Um, I don't want you to start erasing after you've finished because I don't want you to smear all the hard work you've done. All right, have fun. I hope you're up to the challenge.